Hey, how's it going? So today we are on that circuit in Poland, in uh, Plok, it's called, and it's for the Drift Masters uh, European Drifting Championship. I am here with uh, the one and only Manga FPV. Hello, you. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, so basically we are covering for Red Bull TV. Uh, we are covering the, the whole drifting event uh, live and we're using a very special setup that I will present you very soon in that video. But yeah, let's go. I can't stay, stay. Now we're all set. So basically what we have going on is, I put the quads here, and then we've got a charging station. We've got two charging stations. Ch charging stations for the GoPro equipment. Charging station for this kind of, kind of stuff that I'm gonna get into right after. And then we've got the whole thing for, for Martin here, and the battery situation here. So you've got all kinds of batteries all lined up like that so we know we this one is the latest one that we can use and that one was the one that was charged last and we just use them like that linearly and then one, once we take that one we put it on the table here and one of us just picks it up puts it to charge once it's done charging picks it up puts it at the back here and that way We've got a system that's going. So we're all set basically now. And since the cars are doing their practice runs, we might as well just film a little bit with that one. Now the qualifiers have started. Check it out. Alright, so now our job is to relay each other. We, uh, one of us flies, the other one is standing by helping out with the batteries, everything. And we link with the, the guy on the broadcast as well to know that everything is just perfect. A next, roll A. So we are constantly hearing what the director says and sometimes when we're lucky we get to be on the big screen over there. That's when he rolls our footage and it's always like a pretty cool reward because that means he did a good job. Here we go, into the first corner they go. And James, he takes the back end off the car on the front brake. He's on it now, Ian. He certainly is on it, Dave. Look at this as he absolutely fires that car into that outer zone. You can see him just using the handbrake, dabbing it to slow the car down. He needs to put the front bumper. The wall is not as close as Shanahan, but he doesn't take the car. The wall hangs that wing. Oh. All right, I thought I'd find a little bit of peace and quiet to explain to you this little guy. So basically the first thing you have to know is that this live that we do requires a very specific type of link, a video link. And um, that quality of link usually doesn't come very small. So uh, we had to make some adjustments to find the perfect machine to send it back to this truck over there, this massive truck, uh, to do the live. And uh, the machine that we found is called the Corsair, which is the only and first um, ready to fly legal quad that you can find that flies on beta flight and that like meets all the requirements in France and in a lot of countries as well because it's got altitude limitation 
and horizontal limitation as well so you can kind of use it everywhere and this this drone uh, comes at about 1600 uh, 1600 uh, so yeah it's a lot more than the usual drone but it's because it comes with all the paperwork required in France to just fly and uh, that is a big thing if you want to do it professionally like uh, you can just fly with anything in France but if you want to do it professionally you have to use something similar to this it's something that's as equipped as this one but now onto the big thing that this thing over here what is that and why is it fly uh, using a GoPro Hero 4 on it well this thing is called a HeroCast it's made by a company called Vizlink and uh, this allows us to send the best video link ever for a drone I mean it's it's amazing it does 1080 I 50 frames a second perfectly and it's so solid the link is absolutely solid but it comes at a big price it comes at a price of 8,000 euros and then you have to pay a thousand more to get the LMST license which is the license with the best link so it's about 9,000 and to do that we couldn't do it ourselves obviously because I mean that's a big investment and we bring two of these every time so uh, we had this amazing opportunity to partner up with a company that has been killing it in France it's called Live Drone and uh, what these guys do is that they specialize in live videos from a drone and they also do um, I mean, 360 and they also do traditional stuff as well so massive shout out to them because they've been just I mean amazing with the support and they managed to get us these two and they're really hard to come by right now because they they were made at the same time as the Hero 4 and you still need a Hero 4 for it because the others after that don't put the interlace system but it's a it's a really really solid link it's it's way better than anything out there it's not it's it's a lot better than Konex it's like it's it's not even comparable to it and uh, yeah, so you might have seen it in the title. So this makes it over $10,000. But I mean, it's definitely worth it. For the image that we get, the quality is just, it's just crazy. It's, it's very scary to fly around like a moving, fast moving objects like uh, drift cars. But it's such, it's such a cool little setup that flies just amazing. It flies different, like, but it flies great. While we were here, I thought I could give you a little backstage tour inside. Let's see if it's open. Yes. So that is the bus for, I mean, the truck that manages everything, all the broadcast. And look how crazy it looks inside. So uh, usually you'd have one person here doing the visual effects, uh, another one here doing like managing all the cameras, I think, I'm not sure. Here is all the onboard camera, including uh, ourselves with a company called Apex Cameras that is doing amazing work. They've been doing like most of Top Gear, they've been a Grand Tour, uh, a lot of different stuff, uh, Formula E, uh, and of course the Drift Masters. Here you'd have the sound guy, and then here is where the magic happens. Usually you would have here uh, the director, and he looks at all these cameras, all the, these different cameras, and you can even see ourselves here. We're here. The way it works is that, so he, the director sees all these different images and you've got a master here, and then he can decide to send any of this footage here. And all these people come up together to create one show that is the Red Bull TV Drift Masters.
was another big crash. Meanwhile, we've got some stunt biking going on here. Okay, we are getting close to the start of the competition now. I'm in the top 32, but apparently it's sold out today. So we're going to see about seven to 8,000 people. It's about to go down. anything right now I'm just man that was just <laughs> what's going on it's just <laughs> yeah it was crazy well the, the... jump in in English what yeah. an amazing job these guys did I'm the presenter here <laughs> thank you unreal thank you, unreal <laughs> right I, mean, I need a beer I don't know about you <laughs> yeah definitely you, you can't drive with a beer after... oh, I, I, I walk <laughs> I walk it's just <laughs> no, but yeah, that, that was it. I hope that you like the, the ride along. Uh, tomorrow's just going to be a chill day, so I'm not going to show you. Uh, we're just going back home. The More crowd's favourite didn't win, unfortunately, but that was so amazing. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Do it. Mate, pretty sure the keys on the cars.